get ready. Bear with me a second, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to. Oh, got all sorts of things going on. Oh, it's so nice to see so many of you here. Right, let me just get everything. Hi, Ali. Well, Hi, lovely. You're right. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I'm How could so I not? Excited. <laughs> <laughs> so excited now I meant to do something and I one thing I wanted to do was to be able to mute people as they jump in I'm just trying to work out how I do that because once we get in the here we go I can mute myself if you need me to bless you uh I'm gonna mute participants on entry oh okay Okay, I've muted everybody. I hope that's okay. Have I muted everybody? I'm going to just mute everybody and then we'll have a session bit at the end where we can unmute. Okay. So, that's so we get a clean recording. Welcome, Debbie. Welcome, Silvana. Welcome, Amanda. So, we've got the chat as well. Oh, Karen's saying evening. Okay, fab stuff. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. Okay. <sighs> welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know there's some new faces here. So welcome to you as well. My name is Louisa Havers. I'm a transformational life and business coach. And I am so honored that you have all joined me here today. Or if you're joining the replay, welcome as well. And Thank you for joining us for our healing meditation and immunity boost. Really wanted to host this so we can spread light and love. So I wanted to gift you this healing meditation that you can listen to over and over again over the coming weeks, should you choose to do so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to guide you through a meditation using the principles from pranic healing and the energy alignment method. And I'll guide you through it. Um, when we come back from the meditation, I'm going to show you how to embody the energy using a best practice after meditation from pranic healing. And then I'll share with you some simple energy hacks that you can use to boost your immunity. And then if anyone's got any questions, if there's time, please do post them in the in the chat and I will come to them at the end. That's so that we've got a clean recording for anyone watching the replay. So you can really dive into the meditation and you can use it again and again. I'm just going to give you some tips to help you understand what's in the meditation. So your brain doesn't go, what was she saying? <laughs> so and I'm using the mic here. I do feel like I'm about to sing um, because I was on a call earlier and it kept cutting me, cutting me out. So I'm hoping that you can, you can hear me um, throughout this. So what I'm going to do is I'll invite you as we meditate together to connect your tongue to the roof of your palate. This just opens up your spiritual connection. So you literally go at the roof of your mouth and then put your tongue on the roof of your mouth and then go back to the soft bit. It can feel a bit strange when you first do it, but it's opening up your spiritual cord and your spiritual connection. So I just invite you to do that. In the meditation, I'm going to refer to your aura, your health rays and your chakras. If health rays is a new term for you, they are bioplasmic rays they are just a part of your aura. They sort of look like hair radiating out of your body. And the, the sum of the health rays is called the health aura. Um, it's the, think of it, it follows the contour of the vis visible physical body and the, it functions basically as a protective force field that shields the whole body from germs and disease bioplasmic matter in the surroundings. So toxins, waste, germs and disease bioplasmic matter expelled by the health rays predominantly through the pores. So if you're feeling weak or not well, the health rays droop and partially entangled. So I just wanted to explain that because I know what the conscious mind's like. If I say a word you're not familiar with when we're meditating, you'll be like distracted. Um, your chakras are energy vortex vortexes linked to organs and parts of our body and when they become congested we can become unwell so you don't want to clear the congestion and for them to be feeling energized and then the other thing I do within the meditation is towards the end as we're releasing congestions in our chakras we will say that we're releasing this from our energy in all forms on all levels at all points in time and this is simply setting the intention to release all energy in all shapes and sizes 
that's what the forms means on all levels is all layers of our aura and all points in time is in the past present and future does that all make sense everybody okay just checking the chat okay hi carolyn okay so welcome everybody let's do this okay so i just invite you to get in a comfortable position <sighs> to take a deep breath and uh, if you can be sitting upright then that will have your chakras st stacked on top of each other i invite you to have your palms up on your lap and connect your tongue to the roof of your palate and we're going to I invite you to set the intention that you're open to receiving this healing and allowing all of this into your energy. So just close your eyes and take a deep inhale for the count of four. And then just hold for two seconds. And then exhale for the count of four. And just while we're doing this, we're going to do it six times. I just want you to Say breathing in as you're breathing in, breathing in, and on the exhale, say to yourself, breathing out. So breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Just take another deep breath and relax. Every breath you take, you are relaxing and going deeper and deeper. As you breathe, Say to yourself, I am safe, I am calm, I choose to be here and relax your entire body. I am safe, I am calm, I choose to be here. Now, be aware of your entire body and begin a more purposeful inhalation and exhalation. Let your breathing become slower and more rhythmic. As you exhale, see smoke leaving the pores of your body. This smoke is the dirty energy being expelled from your body. As you inhale, see bright light entering the pores of your body. And then exhale, stress, worry, fear from your body. Inhale light, joy, peace into your body. Continue to breathe in light, joy and peace. And exhale fear, stress, worry and anger from your body. As you do this, feel your body relax further. Move your awareness to the top of your head as you continue to breathe slowly. Your entire head is now completely relaxed. Your face is relaxing. Your eyes are relaxing. 
your neck and jaw are now completely relaxed. We keep a lot of tension in our jaw and neck, so breathe into your jaw and neck. <sighs> Let go of all the tension there. Move your awareness to your shoulders and chest and let any tension located there be released as you breathe deeply. Your arms are becoming more relaxed. Your upper arms, your forearms, your hands are now completely relaxed. All the organs of your torso and all the muscles of your upper body are becoming more and more relaxed. Move your awareness down your back as you continue to breathe in and out slowly. Your spine and back muscles are now deeply relaxed. Your lower back is becoming more and more relaxed. Move your awareness now down to your waist and hips and breathe deeply. And as you do, your waist and hips become completely relaxed. Move your awareness down into your legs and allow them to become relaxed. Your legs are now completely relaxed. Your thighs, your calves, your feet are now completely relaxed. Your entire physical body, inside and out, is now completely relaxed. Now, imagine you're standing barefoot in soft grass in a beautiful field. The sun is shining warmly on your body. And a few feet away from you is a mountainside. And as you look at the mountainside, you see a waterfall cascading down through the rocks. And you also notice that the water is actually liquid green light, a very pale green light. The pale green light is luminous, even in the daylight. Gently walk toward the waterfall. And as you approach it, step under it and allow the glowing pale green light to pour over your body. It's a wonderful feeling. The pale green light is pouring over your head, cleansing your scalp. The liquid green light flows into your head, cleansing your brain your eyes, your nose, your ears, your mouth. The liquid luminous green light is pouring over and through your head. And as it does so, it gently breaks up and washes away any energetic resistance in your head. The liquid, luminous green light is pouring over and through your head and down into your throat and neck. Your throat and neck are being cleansed thoroughly. The thyroid and parathyroid. Your voice box. The liquid luminous green light is pouring down into your shoulders, cleansing them thoroughly. 
and gently washing away any energetic resistances. The liquid luminous green light is moving deep into your chest cavity. It's breaking down any blockages in your heart, your lungs, your stomach, your liver, your gallbladder, your pancreas, your spleen. The liquid luminous green light is flowing through your intestines and lower abdomen, flushing away any negative energy. And now the liquid luminous green light is flowing down your spine, cleansing away any dirty energy from your spinal column. The liquid luminous green light is now flowing through your hips, purifying your bladder, your kidneys. The liquid luminous green light is flowing down into your legs, cleansing dirty energy away, away from your thighs, your knees, your ankles, your feet, down into the earth. Be aware of your entire body as it becomes hollow. Your entire body is now hollow, allowing the beautiful liquid green light to flow from the waterfall through your head, down through your entire body, your face, your neck, down, down down. See the liquid green light flowing through your chest cavity with all the glands and organs, down through your arms, your hips, your legs, down, down, down. The liquid green light gently flows through your spine. Any impurities or blockages are being disintegrated and flushed down through your body and out your feet into the ground below you. Be still. Feel more relaxed. All blockages and resistance have been disintegrated. Be aware of how much lighter and more comfortable your body feels. As you continue to breathe in and out, notice the warm air that is flowing throughout your body, providing energy to your chakras. As you silently say to yourself, I release any congestion, tears, leaks in my aura. I release this with light, white, green light in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. I release any congestion and stickiness in my health rays in my aura. I release this with light, white, green light in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. I clear my health rays in my aura. I release 
any congestion across my health rays with light, white, green light in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. I clear my lungs and lung chakras with light, white, green light. I am ready to release all congestion from my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. A deep breath in and out. I clear my basic chakra with light, white, green light. I clear and release all congestion from my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. Now breathe in and breathe out. I clear my front and back spleen chakra with light, white, green light. I clear and release all congestion from my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. Nice deep breath in and out. I clear my navel chakra with light, white, green light. I clear and release all congestion from my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. I clear my front and back solar plexus chakra with light, white, green light. I release any resistance from my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. I clear my front and back heart chakra with light, white green light. I release any resistance from my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. Nice deep breath in and out. I clear my anger, forehead, crown, and back head chakra with light, white, violet light. I release all resistance and negative thought entities, stress, anxiety from my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. And a nice deep breath in and out. I allow all my chakras to be energized with light, whitish, green light. I allow this into my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. Nice deep breath in and out. As you visualize the light, whitish, green light, filling up your basic, your navel, your front and back spleen chakra, your front and back solar plexus, your back heart chakra, your anja, forehead, your crown and back head chakra and take a nice deep breath in and out and just feel the expansion. And deep breath in and out. As you silently say to yourself, I am filled with divine healing energy. I am ready to allow my chakras to be stabilized as they allow this healing energy in. I allow this into my energy 
in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. I am ready to allow my chakras to be stabilized as they allow this healing energy in. I allow this into my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. I am ready to allow my chakras to be stabilized as they allow this healing energy in. I allow this into my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. And a nice deep breath in and out. I am strong. I am healthy. I am filled with light and life. And a deep breath in and out. Feel the expansion within. And another deep breath in and out. And you just let this all go. And then gently, slowly, come back to your body, to your normal waking consciousness, moving your fingers and toes slowly, feeling your heart chakra opening and expanding getting bigger and brighter as you silently say the following. Let the entire earth be blessed with divine light, divine love, divine power. Let the whole earth be blessed, healed, with peace, order, spirituality, abundance, and community. Let every person, every being, be blessed with good health, happiness, spirituality, and abundance. Blessings to all. So be it. And then when you're ready, and only when you're ready, you can open your eyes, feeling relaxed and revitalized, wiggling your toes and your hands. Welcome back. How is everybody feeling? Now we've activated a lot of energy there. So we want to rub the energy into your body. So this is best practice from pranic healing. So I'm just going to, it's not going to let me do that. Okay. I need to put my mic down so I can demonstrate. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be able to hear me still. still hear me? Arlene, I can see you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. So you might want to give yourself a little shoulder roll. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, we've generated a lot of energy. So we want to embody that energy. So we're going to rub it in. 
So literally, it's like you're washing your hair in the shower. <laughs> Rub it in. And what you're doing is you're rubbing your meridians, of course, at the same time. Rub your face. Rubbing it all in. Rub your neck. Down your shoulders. I'm giving myself a new hairstyle. <laughs> so doing it. You want to rub across your chest, down your side of your tummies, down the front of your chest and the back. And then running your hands down your legs, down the rest of your meridians. Rubbing this energy all in. And you may want to pat underneath your rib cage, so where your liver and spleen is, heart, and then the kidneys at the back. You're patting it all in. Okay. That is a little meditation best practice that I would recommend after you've done a deep meditation like that. So I hope everyone's feeling calmer and revitalized. And I wanted to share some quick energy medicine hacks to boost your immunity. So this is just to help you feel more proactive at this time. So if you have worked with me before, you'll know I'm a big fan of the thymus thump. So this is where you are tapping your thymus, which is just here. The thymus glands help your body fight illnesses. So if you just do this for like 16 times, breathing deeply in and out as you do it, and of course, this is something you can do at any point in the day. So whenever you're boiling the kettle, even brushing your teeth, it's just something that you can combine in with other things that you're doing. <sighs> so the thymus thump is a really good hack. It's something that is easy to teach the kids to do as well. A great one to do. And then, of course, we want to work on the lymphatic system. So what you can do here, I know you can't see my knees, but if you were to put your hands on your knees, just like Ali is doing perfectly. <laughs> Thank you for demonstrating, Ali. <laughs> and you can see that Ali's hands <laughs> are reaching just over her knees. No, they were perfect before. <laughs> perfect. And your fingers will be reaching down to a point just below your knees where it's an earth point on your earth meridian. So if you just rub that point, if you're feeling worn out, this is just a way to physically nurture yourself because our earth energy is around nurturing and often if we are nurturing and looking after everybody else, we need to nurture ourselves. So you can just rub the point in circles for a few moments. It's a great one if you're at the office. No one's going to know that you're doing it. <laughs> Thank you for demoing, Ali. <laughs> and then the other one, it'll be interesting to see if anyone notices any tenderness here, is to move the energy across the lymph system and the lungs. So between the ribs on your chest, if you feel these points here, just start to push in and see, does it hurt? Is anyone feeling any tenderness? So there's stuck energy here that we want to move. You want to massage the area to move the tenderness out. So you can do this with your, like this, just notice where is it feeling tender? And if it's feeling tender, then to massage it and you'll be moving the congestion out. It'll help move the congestion out of your lungs. So that's just something really simple that you can do just to kind of have a little daily check-in and support your lymph system. Of course, there's many more that you can do. The other one that I wanted to give you is a really simple one to do is you can tap your liver, spleen and kidneys to give them a bit of a wake up, very much like we did just after the meditation. So just tapping them like that. So tapping the liver and the spleen and then doing the same again on your back where the kidneys are just to give them a bit of a wake up and that will remind your body 
and to support it during this time. Ah, thank you so much everyone for joining me tonight and I hope that this meditation has served you. The energy has felt so powerful with everybody here and I know that those joining the replay will, will feel it as well. And I wanted to create this so you've got a recording that you can listen to again if you choose to listen to it at this time. So I will send it out via email for everybody. And before we disappear, do let me know, does anyone have any questions that I can answer? I can see all the comments, everyone's saying thank you, thank you so much, thank you, thank you, just what I needed, thank you, oh, I'm so glad it served you, perfect, perfect, thank you so much everybody, sending you lots and lots of love, Atma Namaste.